Hi there YouTubers, it's uh, me Crystal. So today's video is going to be on eyebrows and um, the importance of how important eyebrows really are. So um, there's a couple of different things that I use for my eyebrows at different times. So first of all, the eyebrow. Eyebrows are to frame your face. So if you are not a person that um, doesn't like to wear makeup, eyebrows is a great start. So if you just slap a little eyebrow on and some lipstick or lip gloss, you're already halfway there. So eyebrows are really, really important. Um, so there's a couple of things that I've been using. Some things are new to my regimen. So before I started working at Sephora, I used pencil for years. I was just a pencil, pencil, pencil. So before that, I used nothing. Child, yes, I was going out with my eyebrows looking busted up. So, but that's another story. So now I'm on the right track and I'm happy about that. So the um, most, for my first Thing I use depending on what look I'm gonna do so if I am going to the beach and I don't want my eyebrows coming off this is what I use so my girl Anastasia let me tell you your brow products are slamming they are awesome so those are my most of my favorite um, so I use her waterproof so she made a waterproof set which is great because now you can get in the beach and still have your eyebrows on okay because she understands the importance so um this this is the waterproof um clear coat that it comes with this waterproofing gel and it comes with the powder okay so you put the powder on your hand you put a little gel on the brush and you mix it together and um you can just put it right on and then take the little spoolie and then just comb it through afterwards and it stays on literally all day I you know never had a problem with it coming off so that is what I use um, you know for the waterproof if I'm gonna go to the beach or um, in the pool or and I'm gonna be somewhere where I need to have waterproof coverage so if I want a more natural brow look um, for me sometimes um, you know when I'm not working or you know when I don't have when I have a real soft eye on I like a real um, you know a brow that's not so intense so this is her um, brow powders it comes with two different colors I'll show you um, a lighter color and a darker color usually you put the lighter color in the um, corner here and then the darker color goes down the side there um, or you can just do dark all the way around. I got a color um, that was um, pretty good. This is dark brown, if you can see there. Yeah, this is dark brown. So I got this color so that in case I want to use the dark, the darker color all over, I can without it looking too dark. So that's kind of why I picked this color. Um, and then sometimes when I want a really, really light brow, I use the lighter side of it. And it looks light in here, but it actually comes out a lot darker than what it looks like. So don't let that fool you. So there's another product that I also use that I don't have here with me because I just used it up, but that's the Dior um, Universal Brow um, Pen that they have. I like that one. It's a, For me, I feel like it's a little bit more natural look. Um, it's a universal, so it doesn't matter if someone who has, um, you know, blue eyes and brown hair, um, I mean, blonde hair, you can use that the same as me, and it turns whatever color. It's kind of like a magic one, which I really like. Um, I don't know if I'll repurchase it, though, only because I really like the Anastasia products that I'm using right now, so I think I'm probably just going to stick with the Anastasia. So the next one, when I do want to have a brow that's a little bit more defined, um, sometimes I will use this on the outside to outline the brow and then use the powder in the middle or sometimes I'll just use the whole brow with this pen and this is um, called the Brow Wiz and this is the brunette one so that's kind of how it looks and um, it's got a little spoolie on one side of it and then it has the um, top the, the twist up is on the other side it is a twist up so you don't have to sharpen which is great just one little comment about these I want to make, otherwise you'll end up wasting your product. When you take the cover off of the top here, um, don't leave it off to put it back on because if you put this short cover on that side, it will break the point and you'll end up wasting your product. So use it, put the cover back on, and then turn the other side, take that cover off, and use the spoolie. Um, you don't want to have to waste your product if you don't, if, you know, if you don't have to. So that's my advice to use on this one. Okay? So I've been looking for a brow brush, um, really good brow brush for a while now. So Makeup Forever just came out with some new brow brushes and this is my favorite. So let me just back up here so you can see it a little bit better. So this is my favorite and it has a spoolie that's pretty big. So if you have 
bushy eyebrows. You can really get them to, you know, go back into their shape really well. And then the other thing that I really like about this, this is called a straight brush. It's um, number 274, it looks like. If you look at the tip of that, I don't know if you can see that. Let's see, can you see the tip of that? So the tip is very, very thin and small. So if you can see how narrow it is, and it's pretty hard. So you can really go ahead and get in there and use this to really define your eyebrow. Like if you start here, you can really use it to go across and define the eyebrow. So this is my new favorite pen, I mean a uh, brush for doing eyebrows. So thank you Makeup Forever, love this brush. So um, that really is about all the products that I use. So, oh, there is one more thing. If you um, want to make sure that your powders, like sometimes if you use that, you can use a wax. Um, but what I like to use with it, let's see if I can find it in all this crazy makeup in here, um, is the um, Anastasia um, Clear Brow Gel. It works great. Sometimes I'll just put a little bit on the end of the spoolie and kind of do that and just to make sure that my eyebrows um, stay and that they don't move, you know, be off in about a half an hour. So, but it, and if, if, if you're not used to it and you, you know, you're afraid you're going to wipe it off, the powder and the pencils, they stay on pretty good. But if you, um, you know, use this on top of it, you'll get a little bit extra um, staying power. That way, in case you happen to touch your eyebrow or something, it's not going to just, you know, be totally gone. All right, so any questions or anything, leave their comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.